Vox Lux is a new film in theaters, and it is about a pop star and her rise to fame. And this stars Natalie Portman as the titular character. And this film I was very excited for. I saw the trailer, I saw Natalie Portman was in it, and I loved her performance of Black Swan. And I think, Star Wars prequels aside, she's a good actress. And her performance in this film is good. Now, I will say this, going into it, you should know that she is not in it as much as you might think. She is actually in it only for like a third of the film, I'd say. Believe it or not. Um, the film also has some pretty cool shots in the beginning. I mean, it, it's beautiful to see the film shot on film. Like, you know, many films are shot digitally because, you know, it is 2018. But I do like it when a film is shot on film. And you can tell that this film was shot on it. And I liked that. Um, also, the cinematography in the beginning was neat with how it was very, like, cold. That first 10 minutes was very hard to watch. Intentionally so, but very hard to watch. And that was due to the lack of score, um, the way it was shot, and then, of course, the performances. The first 10 minutes, if the film had continued on with that, with that path, I think this would have been the best movie of the year, or one of them, at least. But unfortunately, the film is really just meh. I'll get into that from the beginning. So this is a film where it starts off strong. It has this art house approach. And then I feel as though in the second half, it was really trying to become a music drama. It almost was like the first half was trying to be like nocturnal animals. And when I say that, I mean like with that kind of artistic aspect. And then the second half was trying to be like a star is born crowd pleasing and, you know, really like arousing with what it's trying to do now. Uh, I think that it's just a film that just clashes with its two tones. And that's not to say that if you liked this film that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that for me personally, it just didn't work. It was clashing constantly. Also, the pacing, again, it, it's the pacing and the tone that really kind of jived me the wrong way. Um, also, the film just really didn't have messages that really also jived well with me. A lot of this has to do with me personally. Like I said, I can tell why someone would like this film, but I also can completely understand why someone wouldn't like this film. And it's just a film overall that leaves me in the middle because I don't know what to think of it. I just kind of say, I saw it. I thought it was okay. The first 10 minutes were great. The acting is good. That's about it. Um, you know, I, I really can't get into it anymore because that's it's as simple as that. Um, Vox Luck for me... The, it only gets a three out of five star rating, honestly, which for those like a hot sauce rating, it's the good old Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Again, I understand if you liked this film or if you didn't, but I really do want to hear your guys' thoughts on this film. Again, I just kind of want to give an outline on, on the film. It is obviously a spoiler-free review, but you know, if you have any questions about the film, obviously let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.